Prescott to throw it. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. C.J. Mosley, the linebacker, Almost making sure down. his presence is felt. You know, a week ago, they dominated in the trenches. They got in the backfield for five sacks, setting the tone there, one on the opening drive. And it sets the tone for the opposing team, doesn't it? Remember when you were a kid and you went to the theater and saw that horror movie and it stuck with you for a while and you were a little bit jumpy? Well, if you saw five sacks the previous week and you're the quarterback, he might be a little jumpy as well. Might throw off his timing. Yeah, it'd be jumpy, but uh, sorry. Bob and Linda wouldn't let me see a PG movie until I was 17. Well, that's just good parenting. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Now, Prescott. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Ferguson. A good-looking drive for the Cowboys so far. It's a first down. Well, the first drive here and the first time that we've called a big tight end's name, but I, I can assure you this, Charles, it, it won't be the last. No, it won't, because when he gets going, now it opens up opportunities on the perimeter because that'll draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field. Now your wide receivers will get involved as this game goes on. Prescott looks to throw on first. And that is incomplete. Wow, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. The Cowboys are 1-0 on the year following the win in week one, and they were able to get that road victory in the opener. Now they look to get to 2-0 in front of the home crowd. And look, any road win in the NFL, that's huge. But when you do it week one, that gets your point in the right direction and sends notice to the rest of the league that you mean business. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Sauce Gardner picks it off. And the Jets are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. Oh, did the Jets miss this guy? Here's Bruce Hall. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. You look at this Cowboy defense. In that win last week over the Giants, they were very good. This defense has a lot to be proud of coming off of the game they played last week. When you only give up 14 points in a game, not only do you give your team a chance to win, you fully expect to win because you figure your offense is going to score more than that. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Jets first down. First down, New York. To throw is Rodgers. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. You could tell they wanted to get that ball downfield. They had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Now Rodgers. This pass out wide the hall. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Well, he was a busy man out of the backfield a week ago. They got the ball early and often. I have no doubt in my mind that he'll be a big part of the game plan here as well. Here's third and a few inches. They'll run with Hall. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Jets move the chains. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea Slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. 
Now a play fake. Rodgers. Eluding the pressure right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Rodgers again here on second and ten. He's got it to Williams. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Really been an ideal start for them. They get the turnover on the opening possession. Now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good, but you know on their side of the field, all they're thinking is finish this drive off because they took it away, right? So now you've got them back on their heels a little bit. Now go down, put a touchdown out on them. Look out. You've won the mental battle early in the game, and that may carry over for you. Rodgers to throw on third and one. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Jets first down, and comfortably so, as he gets five there on third and a yard. Well, Charles, it's early, but that's a key third down conversion. Remember, they forced the turnover on the opening drive. Now they're in a position where they look like they'll at least get three out of this. A great example of complimentary football. They're able to cash this in, isn't it, partner? Because defense does its job, takes it away, turns over the offense. He's pick up a nice first down there. Maybe it's time to think about taking a shot at the end zone because it looks like the field goal is almost assured. Now Rodgers. That's complete right side to Lazard. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Well, this defense for the Cowboys, terrific last week in the season opening victory. This defense certainly has a lot to be proud of coming off of last week's game because when you only give up 14 points in a contest, you give your team a great chance to win. The best defense in the league is usually going to average giving up 18, 19 points a game. So to be under that, a terrific achievement. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. They can bring it twice on third down that drive by the running, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about the defense did there, able to shut him down on that attempt. Zerline's kick is up and through. And the Jets hit the board first. It's 3-0. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't, as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side, because when you throw a pick, look, I know defensive backs, they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away, but they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more, thinking they'll get a second one. Maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Now Prescott. And he is caught by Liam. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 
Prescott and Lamb hooking up for the Cowboy first. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. Quincy Williams worked his way back for that sack. Well, last game he had two sacks. Got another one here and picked up right where he left off. Brandon, he spent the entire offseason working on new moves, new techniques, trying to add to his arsenal of pass rush moves, certainly paying dividends of what we've seen so far. A second down throw for Prescott. Looking for the out route here, and he's got Cooks. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll make it third and 13. Brings up third and 13. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe-tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. Now a first down carry for Harris. Room here to run. The 20. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. Brandon Aubrey now for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7 3. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Xavier Gibson now from his end zone. Oh, a good return up past the 30. The Jets take over the first and 10 at their own 33 yard line. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that, wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Ball again on second down. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. 51 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. Play action. Now it's Rodgers. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, the pass rush has been a real strength of late. They know how to get after the quarterback. Absolutely. Four sacks last week. That's their first one here. Anything in particular you've seen from them or on film? I think that they're winning athletically up front, winning those one-on-one -on -one battles. But also, when the offensive line wants to keep everyone in and mass protect, they know how to scheme their way back to the quarterback as well. Go, 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 go. 
So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Throwing is Rodgers. He completes that to Garrett Wilson. And he will go out right near the 35-yard line. 23 yards to pick up there. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake in the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride. And he was able to run free after the catch. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Rodgers to throw on second down. And he'll find Hall. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 15-yard line. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go-around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Into the red zone. It's Rodgers. There's Hall bringing in another one. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And, partner, I know hindsight's always 20-20, but, man, just in general, those laterals, they can be so risky, and we see the risk that can be involved right there. And you just have to know, and, and we've seen it because we've been at a lot of practices, it's not something that's practiced very often. You know, in that situation, you don't see guys really working on it. Maybe like we're bringing the rugby guys in to help us with tackling, maybe we ask them to help us with the laterals as well <laughs> and make that a better play. Out of his end zone, Prescott. And he's got his man on the out route. He's up to the 20. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out the bounds. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. But what they're seeking with an RPO is space for the receiver to make a catch and then make a play downfield, but there wasn't any space available, thus the incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To the air again, Prescott. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. Multiple players getting home there, and it's a loss of two on the sack. There's a lot of discussion in the offseason about him having a big year and getting to the quarterback. They held him without a sack in week one, but how about here? Finally gets his first one of the season. In the offseason, said he changed his diet leaner, feels so good this year. Excited to see what type of a season he can have. third down it's Prescott 
They're able to find the open man. That's complete. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Working with the lead, trying to get to 2-0. and Here's first and 10. Prescott now. And he will find his man on the outside. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you got to run fast. Of course, you got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness is a premium for all of that now. And yeah, this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. As the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. From the red zone now, Prescott. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. The Cowboys single for their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. So that now four first-half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And, partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. And this one is right down the way. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. So the defense are able to force their first turnover of the game, and then they add on to that by getting the field goal. And you don't just want to take the ball away from your opponent, partner. You want to make them hurt as well. And if you don't score yourself on defense, turn it over to your offense and have them put points on the board. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead, finish up the half, and get on out and talk about it. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Rodgers now to throw. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Shot before half for Rodgers. Open man here is Conklin. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports.
And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Jets going to get the football first, and they trail as well as we get back underway in this second half. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards.
down right at the 20. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. It's been a tight game to this point. What do they need to do, Charles, to break through in the second half and take the lead? Well, I think the first thing they need to do is thank their defense for keeping them in this game. And, you know, I think the defense is saying back to them, why don't you guys focus on getting some first downs, put some drives together, give us a little bit of a break here. If we can get some rest, we'll play even better for you. And, oh, by the way, pay off a few of those drives with some points, too. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion left. On second down, a run with Hall. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Call that a loss of a yard and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. But the converse is, though, you've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. First down, Rodgers. And he's going to hook up with his big tight end, complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Now it's Rodgers. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Marquise Goodwin, 43 yards. And the Jets are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high-flying plays, but a good number of them played running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays, run after the catch. And this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. put it through and that evens us up at 10 apiece. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kicks away here. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25 yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. They'll start the drive with Harris. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Here we go. 
So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 72 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. Harris running straight ahead. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. Two yards the loss, second and 12. But they're certainly not neglecting their run duties as well as they ate up the blockers in front and allowed the secondary to get home. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Play fake. Here's Prescott sliding out of the pocket. It hits a complete to Harris. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 13 yards and a first down, Cowboys. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. On the jet sweep, they get this to Cooks. Oh, this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Here's Prescott. Over the middle complete. It's Ferguson. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 36. A new set of downs after a strong pickup of 16 yards. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Play action now, Prescott. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. A second down throw for Prescott. And it's knocked away and incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine, and they need 10 yards out of it on third. On play action, Prescott buying time to his left. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. And this one is right down the middle. And they will take the lead at 13 to 10. So the response there to the touchdown of the opening drive of this third quarter is they're able to reclaim the lead. And I think he'll take that because obviously you'd like to be able to match them touchdown for touchdown, but the first order of business was to get the lead back, and they've done that. Now you want to give a good pep talk to your defense to take it from there. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. 
Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Now, Charles, remember they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. And they won't be able to run another play. Time has expired. three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Here's Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Jet first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. From the 32-yard line now, here's second and four. Rodgers going to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 43. 25 yards there on the catch and run. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 43. Now Rodgers. Flushed out right. Oh, no, he lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Look at the big man rumble. Down the left sideline. And this is going to be brought back for a fumble return touchdown by the Cowboys. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room where they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave him a comfortable lead. Aubrey now for the point after. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. Rodgers now on first down. He finds his man complete. It's Hall. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. And the Jets first down. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Looking left side, and he's got him in. That's Hall. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two. At the 47-yard line. From the gun, it's Rodgers. 
A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. But correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked up by Marquise Bell. And the Cowboys are going to get the football here at their own 23. But here in the fourth quarter, defensively, you know that you're just going to blanket the field with defensive backs and say, OK, take your best shot. And that time, it's intercepted. And we've often seen teams go into the prevent early, way too early. And sometimes they get too soft in their coverages. But not in this case. They understood the situation and played it with the proper aggression. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. And he finds some space, past the 25 to the 27. Tackle by Ashton Davis up from the secondary. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Well, Prescott, he's going to change things up here. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. Here's Brian Anger now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. And there's a work of art right there. Out of bounds at the two-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line absolutely ideal from that position you're hoping to get it down inside the 15 inside the five superb here's first and ten trying to shake off the interception from the last drive he'll look to throw Williams brings it in and they work this out past the 25 Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. A two timeout still remaining, but scoring quickly, a must. It's first and ten. To throw, it's Rodgers. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it, and it's second down. You get into these two-minute drill situations, and you've often got tired legs on the offensive line. But these defenders, they've been rotating in and out, and they're a little bit fresher and quicker. And the pressure there forced the incompletion. Rodgers to throw. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. This crowd turning up the decibel level. It's third and long. Now they'll change things around before the snap. Now whistles come in before the snap. Looked like one of the Jets may have moved. A 
Well, this feels like a late season game, even though it's just week two. Here's a big third down. Now the Cowboys gonna burn the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And the crowd a major factor now. Here's third down. Back to throw, Rodgers. Oh, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. Oh, okay. That's one of the quarterbacks. He put both hands on the helmet and said, I can't believe I just did that. If he puts a little more touch on that ball, the receiver's still running. Instead, it's just an incomplete pass. such little time remaining and that's going to be just about all she wrote for this one Harris is in touchdown Dallas well this of course set up by the stop a moment ago on fourth down and now that might be the score that puts this one officially out of reach and it's a tough one because your hands are tied when you're losing in the fourth quarter because you know you've got to make something happen they couldn't pick up the first down and after that the air just went right out of the balloon, and you knew you were looking at a defeated team. Aubrey now for the PAT. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. Well, probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the writing on the wall a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Throwing quickly to Wilson. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Work to do here to avoid falling to one and one, but this is first and 10 right now. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. Got a man, that's Lazard. And all the way in, touchdown, New York. Alan Lazard, 46 yards. And the Jets have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. I think if you pulled defensive backs, 
they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as the wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. They're going to try and run. And he'll get in for the two points as that'll cut the lead down from 11 to 9. They go with the option on the two-point try, and the decision to pitch it worked out. Almost felt like basketball, didn't it? But remember with the dribbler draw, drive, and dish? How about that one? Drew everyone to him, dished it to the running back. He takes it in. So time definitely not in their favor. Down two scores, but they'll try the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. Well, CD, you understand. I mean, they're so eager trying to get back in this game here in the fourth quarter, but they touched that one a little too early before it went 10 yards. Brandon, in such a high-stakes scenario, everyone's feeling the pressure on this play. The special teams coordinator, which one is he going to pick in terms of kicks? Can the kicker execute it? Can the team wait for 10 yards? So many variables, and in this case, they didn't get it done. we got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the Jets 26-yard line. But Charles, a very simple mission anytime that you play on your home turf, and that is to defend your home turf. And today, that mission was accomplished. Look, every offseason, every preseason, the head coach goes in front of the team and says, the mission for the season, defend our home field every time, split on the road, and we'll be in the playoffs. That's why defending the home field is vital. So for the Cowboys, it's a win here in their home opener as they move to 2-0. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Arizona Cardinals. Meanwhile, for the Jets, they'll fall to 1-1. One and, one, and they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.